What's going on YouTube? Geosan right here. So in today's video I'm going to show you how to transfer files from your iOS 17 device, being it an iPhone or an iPad, to your computer. I'm going to show you how to back up your data, how to transfer it over, and how to get selective data like only the photos or only the messages and stuff like that using a program called EasyOS Mobi Mover. This is the program we're going to use and you can find it out here on the EasyOS website on mobi.easyos.com slash phone transfer. There is also a free version of this program which allows us to transfer over 20 files per day and you can of course back up your device and stuff like that but there's also the pro and business license which I definitely recommend. We're going to check out the program right away so let's go ahead and use it. If you're on a Mac to install it you get a DMG file from the website and you open it you're going to have to press the installer over here and I'm going to press install now. This will install the program rather quickly and you'll be able to find it in here on the launchpad once it's installed. And now I have a couple of options in here including the browse and transfer, phone to Mac, Mac to phone, phone to phone, backup Mac manager, WhatsApp manager, photo converters and stuff like that. So I'm going to connect an iOS 17 device and as you can see the device has been detected. You can see the applications I have, the messages, the audio, the others, whatever. Not a lot of data in this test device but I do have a lot of pictures. So I'm going to go ahead and here on the albums and you can see exactly all the albums that are available including the recently deleted. If you want to download photos from the recently deleted album you can see exactly in here what we have. These were a couple of duplicates that I had from the main photos album but you can see that all of them including the deleted ones are available. So if I want to download the files that I have deleted I'm going to select them all by pressing in here and then we can press to Mac in here. Here we can select where we want the backup to be exported. So the backups are exported in there on the users your username, library, application, EasyOS, Mobi Mover backup, and the files are being exported to your desktop. If you want the backups to also be exported to the desktop, you press select in there, you press desktop and press OK. And in that case, both of them will be in the same place. I'm going to press save in here and as you can see, the files are being transferred over. It takes only a couple of minutes and all the files will be exported to my Mac. So it says transfer successful over here. If we open the folder and press picture over here, and this is the trash data, you can see exactly here all the photos that we have and you can see all the photos available over here if you open them they look fantastic so yeah you can easily get all the photos but you can also do a full backup of the phone to do that you go here to backup manager and press backup over here and you get the choice to select what do you want to backup from your iOS 17 iOS 16 iOS 15 device so you can back up the contacts the messages and attachments notes and attachments voicemail safari bookmarks photos music videos voice memos or all of them so I'm going to select all of them and press one click backup and it's going to take a few minutes depending on how much data you have but as you can see it started backing up the data from the device to the computer now this procedure may take a while but as you can see the photos are being copied over and once that finishes we're going to have a new backup over here in this folder and uh, you can already see the contents of it it's going to look something like this and you will be able to actually restore this backup later on if you want to so yeah as you can see it says backup completed we press back here on the Mac to phone option you have the option to basically copy over photos and files from your Mac to your phone. Pretty easy to do that, you just go ahead in here, select files and select the files that you want. For example, I'm going to get these three photos over here. You can select multiple photos at a time, press open and they will all be transferred over to your phone. You press transfer over here and that's it. It takes a couple of seconds and after that the files will be on your phone and you will have these extra files directly in the photo album. So if I go here to browse and transfer now and go to photos and uh, photos again in here you can see all the photos that we have on the device. They take a few seconds to load but then you can see all the photos that we have on this device including the ones that I have transferred like this one over here and this one and this one which were the test files that I have just transferred. These files are now available in the photo album of the device so you can see them on the device as well and here are all the photos that I have on this device. So for example if I open this one over here it's from the WWDC event you can see exactly that I can zoom in zoom out the photo has a good quality. So if I want for example to only get this photo I can select it and I can just press the to Mac button and it will be transferred over in a second and now I have that photo on my computer no problem. There you go. But this photo is in the HEIC format which is specific to Apple. Now if you go here to the HEIC to JPEG converter you can drag and drop this file which wouldn't normally be openable on many operating systems. If you drag it and drop it in here it gives you the option to make it a JPEG which is of course openable on any device that supports photos. So I'm gonna press convert over here and that's it. 
in a couple of seconds you get the JPEG version of the file. No data loss, but the format is much more friendlier with operating systems like Windows and Linux and stuff like that, or if you want to move it to Android, for example, which may not support the Apple proprietary format. Same goes to phone to Mac, you can basically transfer files from the device to the computer and phone to phone which allows you to transfer files from a device to another if you want to move from your old iPhone to your new iPhone. So that's basically it with EasyOS Mobi Mover. Definitely check it out in the link below. A free trial and a free version are available. The free version gives you 20 files per day, more than enough to test if the program is capable or not. It does support the latest iOS 17 as well as older iOS versions like iOS 16 and 15 and 14 and so on. And it does support all devices available today. So yeah, thank you for watching. I'm GS. Now, till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.